We are deep, peoples. Really deep. What the hell has been digging in there? Next thing on the unexplained things that have happening on this trip. You'll see this for the first time as I am. I don't exactly know how to get out of where I am. I look like something out of a horror movie. We are deep, peoples, really deep, deep, deep in a jungle this time. A big thank you once again to all the viewers and subscribers and likers and commenters from the previous camping series who've been following along. I think this will be ooh, episode number four, maybe. And once again, I've got myself deep, deep, deep in some shit. <laughs> it hasn't been easy going, getting to where I am at the moment really hardcore jungle it's not even hacking i could really do with a machete i think that might be an investment on the horizon because i've just followed a creek that comes down this way i've been bush bashing or jungle bashing for about the last 45 minutes to an hour no path no track whatsoever to get where i am and uh this is the first spot i've reached that is a potential camping spot um i've got water source really nice and close there's a small waterfall just coming down there i'm sure you can see and hear that i've got a couple of trees here nice trees i can tie the hammock up to um the ground's pretty rocky and all that sort of stuff but i've got a new bit of kit that's going to take care of that so i'm not entirely sure this is option a it is getting late time time at the moment is 1 40 and uh as we know from previous experience in the jungle when it's thick like this it gets dark pretty pretty quick and it's also winter so it's going to get cold not only that what i've got planned to cook for dinner is uh needs a decent fire i want to try and make this video a little bit different to the others and by different i mean shorter um i'm really really grateful and thankful that anyone would commit the time to watch any of my videos and i'm really conscious of the fact that the last three camping videos have been 45 minutes long i'm learning my editing skills um and i'm going to try and talk less in this video maybe shoot a bit more b-roll than i have in last videos again put your comments below uh, with any helpful criticism um, much obliged um, my, mind you me taking up your time telling you about how i'm going to save you time by me not talking so much kind of defeats the purpose i think so i'll shut the What the hell has been digging in there? Holy shit. That's not that's not sand that's just fallen down. That, that's sand that has been dug out kind of in two areas here and here and dig back all the way here. That wall at the back there's about a metre tall. That's a lot of sand to be moved out of there. Huh. So check this out. Like, <laughs> uh, I'll, t I'll, talk, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk a bit later about what I doubt very much this is, but all this sand here 
and to sort of see me in perspective that's a lot of sand that's been moved out and dug out of here and it's it's really quite soft sandy clay and it's quite recent it goes right up and under so something has been digging in here and claw marks Huh. Something with claws and it was hungry. Alright, I found site option number two. It's probably not quite as good as option A, option number one, but that's too far back up the track now to be backtracking. Um, not only that, with this hike, it's all... I want it all to be one way. I don't want to be going back the way I've come. It was it was a real pain in the ass. Um, all I know is that the road that I came in on, um, that's south. It goes back east. If I go in an east direction up that hill, up that mountain, eventually I'm going to hit a road. Unless I have a sudden change of heart, I'm going to get a wriggle on. All right, so I had a change of heart, I've moved on again. I've found uh, spot three and possibly spot four next to each other. I don't know which one it's gonna be. It's a little bit more open and flat. I'm still not far from, I'm still not far from the creek. Now let's get on to a somewhat humorous subject. Where I am is a little bit secret squirrel. And the reason why I've come here, I've kind of found myself being a little bit hooked on Yowie video. <laughs> it even sounds strange coming out of my mouth. Now, I'm not a believer one way or the other. Yeah, it could be possible. Wouldn't surprise me if it was true. But I'm not going to get into it and get all freaky about it. If you are into that sort of stuff, I highly recommend you go and check my friend Craig's channel. It's Paranormal and Cryptid Adventures. He gets right into it. He's got some good information. He does some scientific type studies. And... Uh, one of the things Craig mentioned on one of his earlier videos is that apparently to be able to see a Yowie you, uh, you need to open your third eye chakra. Now, the only third eye I have is brown and it ain't helping me see a Yowie. Anyway, um, so I moved on and that's why I had a chuckle at that dug in sand bank before because uh, it looked like it could have been done by something big and with two arms and now I get to this spot. Now keep in mind where I am there are no marked trails, no walking trails, no nothing. Like I've hacked my way through. Um, but I've come to this area and I'll, I'll just turn the camera around. So I don't know if you can kind of make it, but there's like a natural trail coming through here. Not very well used, but it's absolutely there. And as I'm standing here, it can kind of continues and goes through to the creek that way and possibly a creek crossing. So I'm standing here and if you have a look down on the ground and again I don't know if the camera's really going to pick this up and do it justice. There's some disturbances in the ground. I'll point them out, right? One over here, one over here, one, uh, where was the next one? So you got one here, one here, one here, one here and they continue. Now like there's a good one there and another one further back just there now it's probably just my imagination but they almost look like footprints rough not neat shape of foot and toes and everything footprints but they almost look like something bipedal has come running through here at a pace and these footsteps are let's see i don't know if we can do this so it looks like that's a left foot there now i can't oh, i can just reach that one so i would be estimating whatever come through there is a little bit bigger heavier and taller than me i swear to god that is exactly how i found that and they the footsteps kind of continue that way okay this is turning out to be one of those trips um Next thing on the unexplained things that have happening on this trip, 
has just occurred and I'm going to show you. So I'm cleaning up the site. I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to put my fire pit here, right? So I want to put a ring of stones. This stone here was already in the ground. This stone here was over there. I brought it over. So I thought, right, I want to turn this stone over, right? So I turned this stone over and now we go at this. This is just sitting here in the middle of the path. It's got bloody word written in it. And for a second there, that's an A, 100% is an A. I thought that was an L. And then I thought that, I thought for a second there, that had my bloody name carved in the stone. I don't know, I, I don't know exactly what that is. That's an A for sure. And that comes down here like that. And across, it look, does look like an A and an L, but that looks like a U or something. That's bizarre. I'm put, I'll put some water on it and clean it up. Alright, so there you go, I've cleaned it up. It looks like an A, a P, and an O with something else after it. Maybe it came off a bigger rock that had, it had something scratched in it and it's broken off or something. That is freaky. When I turned that over and I thought it had my name in it, holy shit balls! All right, so I wonder what else this place is going to have in store for me tonight. So here's 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 the plan. So we're coming out here with the hope of potentially luring in a mythical being, the Yowie. Now, the way I see it, from what I hear, through the experts, the way to lure in a mythical animal is through food. Now, for example, apparently if you want to catch a three metre long flathead, you're going to use a whole chook, so I'm told. So I figure, obviously the way to lure in the, the yowie is with some food, so what else would a yowie want? but wood-fired pizza on the campfire out here in the jungle. So let's get cracking on some wood-fired pepperoni and mushroom pizza. Right, yeah, so in here I've just got uh, I think four cups of plain flour, pinch of salt, and that's it. So the yeast mix just had, I don't know, half an hour. I don't know if it's working or not, but we're going to crack on anyway. So we'll start adding that in there. Okay, we also want to add in some olive oil. Slowly start working that through. All right, there we go. She's all mixed up. It's a little bit wet. I don't know, I'm no Gordon Ramsay, am I? So. Um, and we are out in the bush. Just gonna have to uh, cover this now and probably give it half an hour, 45 minutes, as long as I can be patient to let that uh, the yeast make it do its thing and make it bigger, you know. All right, so the dough I think is a bit of a disaster. It's way too wet. I've stretched it out by hand. That's the best I could do. It's really wet. I don't think this is gonna work. What a bummer, but well, I'm going to persist. All right, sauce. Ah. I think I'm going to be eating this with a spoon. All right, cheese. Pepperoni. Because that's what Yowie's like. And then mushroom. Oh yeah, a few more cheese. Oh shit. There we go. Right, now, now here's the grand plan. I've got two of these. I'm gonna now stick that on top. To keep them together, I've got some of these bloody clip. I'm just gonna chuck them on there. One handed. I can hear a bush turkey coming. I don't want to attract a bush turkey. We had that in the last video. Link in the dis up there. Right. Now we need to get that in the fire. Alright, 
moment of truth, what are we going to be looking at? I mean, I suppose I should be happy that the $2 shop Chinese cake tins didn't melt. Alright, here we go. You'll see this for the first time. As I am. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, how much does that look like a pizza? Touch overdone. Oh my god. It's a little bit, it is a little bit crispy. I probably overdid it. Um, you probably find that the base is actually overdone. I thought it was going to be underdone, so I ended up putting it on top of some coals to finish it off. Oh shit, it looks good. Oh, okay. I'm gonna uh, see if I can get a bit out. Oh, she's completely black underneath. Alright. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, but I've got some dough left. I can make another one. Oh man, I'm sure to get you how he's turning up. All right, there's a bit. Look at that, holding shape like a proper pizza. It smells good. Here we go. Oh snap! Oh, that's not bad. Obviously, I can taste the blackness of the underneath, but um, I'm calling. <laughs> you can't see me. Hang on. All right, I hope you can see me. I'm calling that a success, kind of. Um, definitely almost there. Um, it's edible. I'm going to eat all of that. I haven't eaten since breakfast, and I didn't have a great breakfast. Um, so I'm going to eat that. Yum. All right. Wood-fired pizza in the uh, jungle. Um, no doubt there'll be yowies knocking on my door any minute, and uh, I'll, I'll make sure I grab the camera when they come round for a feed. Good morning, viewers. We're up nice and early today. It's uh, quarter past seven and I'm already packed up and ready to go. The site's back to uh, pretty much the way I found it. Fire's out and all that, spread around and everything. And uh, I need to make a move. I've got uh, things to do today. I have to, uh, today is what I call tank day. Um, go and empty the waste tanks on my motorhome and fill up the fresh water. So for those who don't know, yes, I live in a motorhome that I built myself out of a school bus it's completely off grid so that's the job for today so I need to make a move not only that I don't exactly know how to get out of where I am um, I started at the head of this creek that we followed down at the waterfall at the head of the creek there and um, I knew coming down that I was sliding down some rocks and clambering over rocks and under logs and things to uh, to get in this direction to find a flat spot to camp I knew that I, I was going over some obstacles knowing that I wouldn't get back up those obstacles so um, I probably could find a way back that way but it is thick 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 scrub um, so um, if you can see here I hope it shows on camera this sort of mountain behind me here I believe there's a road and my car is back in that direction somehow um, I think anyway um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the trail this way the uh, Yowie trail that I pointed out yesterday and uh, see how that goes um, disappointing on the Yowie front <laughs> last night um, surprisingly my pizza did not bring one into camp I don't know what was going on they're obviously away at the moment. Um, uh, the rock with the writing on it. Um, let me show you that again because there's actually a couple more letters I didn't realise. I hope you can see there. I know it's poor light. I do apologise. <clears throat> so I've just kind of highlighted them. So I've just kind of highlighted the letters that we saw yesterday. So we've got an A and a P and an O. There's kind of a, a slash or a line here. But what I saw in the fire last night, it's on this side. And I, again, I've highlighted it with charcoal so you can see is a Y and an S. I don't think there's anything on the other side. 
I'm not going to go and clean all the moss off or anything. But how bizarre. I should come across a rock like that. So APO slash YS. No idea what that means. That was so funny though when I turned that over yesterday and I genuinely thought that had my name on it. I thought it said Alex. <laughs> oh, how funny. All right, so uh, I'm going to load up now. I'm packed up, ready to go. Oh, feeling it in the back a bit today. So hopefully it's it's going to be n not too hard of a trek out of here. But um, I'm, uh, I'll am i be surprised if it's, if it's going to be that easy. I know it's going to be a lot of uphill. I've only been walking for about 10 minutes and all of a sudden I've come to this <laughs> manicured sort of paddocky area in the middle of the forest. I did hear music last night, I don't know if it was coming from here or not. A bit bizarre. Hopefully there's a trail or a path from here that's going to get me out. Okay, a bit of an update. That clearing before led to more clearings and paddocks that were full of old trucks and drilling and mining equipment. They all looked about 50 years old. Something looked like something out of a horror movie. Um, I kind of have the feeling I'm heading in completely the wrong direction. But I'm still on a dirt road at the moment. Every now and again you get fence lines for private property. Maybe I should have just bit the bullet and gone back the way I came. Because so, I just, I don't have the feeling that I'm heading in the right direction, that's for sure. But I don't want to go back the way I came. I had big signs up saying it was security cameras everywhere. Stuff, so anyway, I'll keep your post today. Eh? It's turning into a bit of an adventure. Okay, I've just come through those gates over there onto this road, and there's good news and bad news. The good news is I know exactly where I am because yesterday when I was looking for a place to camp I actually drove down this road I'm pretty sure and turned around and left so that's the good news the bad news is I also know because I put it into the GPS when I was in the car but to get from here and back to where the car is parked by car was half an hour drive so 30 minute drive walking with this pack on uh, I'm looking at a, a good couple of hours a good few hours of hiking I'm glad I had breakfast beautiful day at least it's not raining on it right first signs of life there <laughs> this morning so I am I know I know exactly where I am. I'm not lost. It's currently 8.40 a.m. So I've been hiking now. We left camp at around about 7. I have, I've now also got mobile phone signal, so I am, I, I know exactly where I am. I've had a look at the map. And like I said, I drove along this road yesterday looking for a place to camp, so it was probably a blessing that I did. One of the really frustrating things, though, is that where I need to be going is that way and the road this way according to Google Maps by car is uh, when I checked it just a minute ago 32 minutes by car and that's going to include a lot of uphill so but yeah the frustrating thing is there was a road off to the left but I also took yesterday in the car and it's signposted as a no through road but when you look on the map it shows it on the map 
cutting directly in a straight line to the road that I need to be on where my car is parked but because I did take it yesterday um, I happen to know for a fact that it comes to a point where there's a, a shut gate and it's private property and uh, I was really tempted to take it anyway just go down there jump the fence and uh, run through private property and I'm sure that would make for good YouTube viewing content <laughs> but uh, I mean I've already gone through enough private property this morning to get through to here as it is certainly more than I'm comfortable with it's just an unfortunate fact that uh, due to my profession which I won't go into <laughs> I can't afford to get a trespassing charge um, so yeah, that was a no, unfortunately. So, we're doing the long haul. Um, I've got no idea how long it's gonna take. I would be surprised if I'm back at the car by, ooh, midday. That's uh, three and a half hours away. I don't think I'll be back at the car by then. Like I said before, at least it's a beautiful day. Well, we're still going, it's now 26 minutes past 10. It's getting warm in that sun. It's reached a little bit uh, more civilization, a lot more traffic. So we've still got at least a good three hours to go. I'm going to sit and have a rest. I managed to get a coffee though. That'll keep me going. Oop. I could really do with some electrolytes. I can feel the cramps coming. I've got a little bit of me fresh water, but there's not much of that left to go. So oh, I'm going to stop for a breather and enjoy this coffee. Oh, holy shit, it feels good to it and take the weight off my legs no sympathy it's all self-inflicted I so should have turned around and gone back the way I came although I wouldn't have been able to enjoy this coffee it's not bad actually still going it's 11.51 <laughs> so I wasn't wrong when I said I don't think I'd be there by midday I just checked the maps Whew, I've still got 10 k's to go so I broke camp nearly pretty much five hours ago and I've still got 10 kilometers and I've just realized that part of that 10 kilometers and it's towards the end oh, there's a really steep section and I remember driving it yesterday thinking I'd hate to have to walk up here that's still to come Dead skippy. Just eight kilometers to go now. Heartbreak hill still to come. So I've got a secret weapon in my pocket though. So before we hit the hill, I'll take a seat. I need a Snickers bar. That'll get me up there for sure. All right, so I'm about to hit the dirt road and then the start of the really steep uphill climb so time to, time to upload the upgrade the energy levels with the Snickers um, I was thinking I was gonna stop for a rest my body's really protesting at the moment shoulders are sore the feet are killing me but uh, I don't want to stop because I think my pain will increase so I'm just going to keep going I don't know how far there is to go maybe 6 k's anyway I'm going to keep pushing on Alrighty, so remember I was saying earlier about that uh, no through road that, that cut straight to where I needed to be except it went through private property and for that reason I didn't want to take it. Well, um, this is where I, it comes out I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it's what it shows on the map. So uh, yeah, 
not taking that little uh, shortcut through to where I needed to be has cost me five or six hours of hiking with this 18 kilo pack on my back. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far I've gone. I've got, I think, less than 2Ks now to where my car is. So certainly on the home stretch, big effort. Oh, certainly not bad for a fat old guy, eh? So I'm going to sign off there. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. This turned out to be a little bit of a longer trip than I anticipated. Um, certainly very challenging today. And so very rewarding that I stuck it out. Um, I did have an out available to me. I had two kids volunteering to come and pick me up at a moment's notice, which was awesome. And thank you to them. But um, yeah, I opted to uh, just push on and just take the opportunity to see what I'm made of, eh? So, like I said, I've got less than two Ks to go to the car, so I'm going to uh, do this last stint. Um, I reckon by the time I actually get there and sit in the car, my body is going to go into absolute spasm. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and a share. <laughs> Please feel free to comment. And I hope to see you again soon on another camping adventure from Alex Does DIY. See yous.